at home to somewhere else where it's beautiful, it's very colorful. It'd be so much fun, isn't it? But our Volga is an old timer, you know. She doesn't want to take any risks. Oh no. My mother lived like this. <laughs> My grandmother lived like this. <laughs> Her grandmother lived. Okay, Ma. What are you trying to say? No, no, we are not going to shift from here. We are only going to be here. But the Volga is getting older and older and older. Now, one thing that she is really scary, is getting scared, is the winter that's coming up. Especially this winter because already during the rainy season, she is feeling very cold. So she is very worried. So Arshi comes and asks her, What's worrying you so much? Why are you looking so worried? No, Volga says, I don't know how I'm going to manage. I can't even say whether I can survive this winter. My God, what's happening to you? Why are you getting so emotional? Nothing will happen to you. Come on. No, no. I'm really feeling cold even now. Oh. Hmm. Let me do something. Let me go to the town and see if there's something that I can get for you that can keep you warm in the winter. This sounds like a great idea for him in his mind. He's saying, oh wow, I can explore more places. They can't be. There should be some more colors than brown, isn't it? So Volga, initially she hesitates, no, 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 we'll be here. No, but this guy is clever enough and he convinces her. And he's off to this beautiful journey. So he says, bye Volga, bye-bye. She says, okay, bye-bye, take care. Now this guy ventures out happily. He goes, tak, 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 finally, he reaches the town. Wow, it was like breathing the fresh air, you know? What? No more brown and blue and green and purple and yellow. Wow, so many colors to life. Wow. But you know what? His legs are pulling him down. Come on, let's say, take some rest. Let's say, let's take some rest. These are the words, you know? His mind is saying, okay, Baba, let me take some rest. So he looks around, there's a park nearby. So he goes down, tak 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 He looks there, there's a bench there, which is free. So he goes and sits there. Now he looks around, it's, you know how the park is. It's so much filled with fun. This guy is really loving it. Because all along it's, it was so silent. All he could hear is bzzz, a doo -doo or very monotonous tones. Now he sees some kids, they're playing with so much fun, you know. They're playing frisbee. Yeah! Wow! That's a wonderful shot! Ooh! And all that. Besides that, he sees a bunch of women sitting, I mean the parents sitting. Hey, what a wonderful sari, man. Where did you get it? Oh, that job! Oh, you got it? He Oh, is it too expensive? All this stuff is going on. And there's a bunch of kids here. Like, hey, this is my toy. I don't want to play. I want this. No, no, give me, give me. Ah, he goes. So this girl, one of the ladies, one of the parents goes, Oh, Chuchuni, what happened? And all these things are happening. Now here he looks. The group of boys who are riding bicycle. Kling, 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 kling. Going all around. And in the corner, he's seeing one lady, in spite of all this, one lady is sitting. An old lady is sitting and making something. And this guy is curious. So he walks to her. Ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. Yes. Hello, lady. What are you doing? She says, Spidey, what are you doing here? No, no. I want to know what you are doing. Okay. I am making a beautiful sweater for my grandson. Wow. Why are you making it? Because I want him to be warm in the winter. Sounds like an idea for me. Even I want to do something like that. Can you teach me how to make it? No, but it's difficult. Can you manage to make it? Yes, I want to do it. Okay, I'll teach you. And this guy is extremely happy to learn how to make a sweater. Now he's excited. Okay, let me make a sweater for my grandma. Now this excitement, he talks. Ta-ta, ta-ta, ta-ta. And 
he sees a boy. What is he doing? He's chewing something in his mouth. He's pulling out some spit. What's happening? Chewing, pulling. Oh, now he wants his eye. He's well. Okay, okay. This lady is using cool. This guy is doing simple. Okay, let me go out of the simplest technique. And he's so happy. He walks and walks. And by the time he comes, it's late in the night. He comes back also. It's very late in the night. And one guy is already fast asleep. Now he, he thought this is the perfect time to make the window gift for him. So he sits and makes something. Now what happens? In the morning, Moonka gets up. And she's so happy to find. Ooh, Archie. Hey, Archie, when did you come? So happy to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. And you know what? There's so many things other than the tree trunks, tree trunks, and tree trunks. <laughs> and I've got something so special for you. Hey, Beta, what is it? I'll show you. Wait. And he takes it there. Both of them sit down. <laughs> Who is making a sweater for a grandson? Now I thought I'd make some sweater for you. And I looked around, this bo boy was doing something. And what I decided was instead of giving you a sweater, I thought I'll give you a home, a new home where you and I can live together and not worry about anything. See now how much time you spend going for shopping. You've gone for almost one hour. It's so boring, isn't it? When we are in this new home, it's always door delivery. You know, all these insects get come. They just come. Let me show you one more new home. He shows the beautiful bed. <laughs> What is it using it for? It's using it to store something. Okay, let me make something like this. And you know what he made? He made the World Wide Web. This is a story about uh, Kalpana the elephant. Actually, it's, uh, it's, it's very special to me because I actually saw a tiny elephant, a baby elephant called Kalpana Chola back in Kerala. It was after Kalpana Chola, I mean she died. And there was this baby elephant named after her who was just three months old and she was just adorable. So this little Kalpana Chola was also very adventurous and she loved to go on her little journeys. Okay, She lived in a pack of, uh, uh, I mean, as a as a huge herd, but she used to love to romp around all over, okay. And when she used to go, she used to, and she was the actually the the active person in the group because she was the smallest, and she has used to have these little songs. One of her favorite songs was. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we be. So she used to go around. And as days went by, it began to get very hot in the forest. Okay, it was really hot and water was becoming scarce. So the whole herd moved out into a place which was closer to a pond. So uh, one afternoon it was very hot and Kalpana was 
really feeling hot and she was like I need to move I need to get up I need to just get myself wet so she started to walk and she reached this little pond and as she reached this little pond she thought oh that water really looks so inviting I need to get down there and just soak myself in so she did just that she got right into the water and she soaked herself in so as you notice with this little baby elephant the trunk was really tiny okay it had a very small trunk and as she soaked herself in there comes creepy crawly and there comes a crocodile which suddenly <coughs> sprang onto kalpana's trunk and kalpana goes ow let go of me but the crop crop just wouldn't let go it just hung on and kalpana was pulling and tugging but the crop just didn't let go so then she said ow ow and she tried to make all the noises that she could and she went mmm, mmm, mmm. and hum the mama elephant and all the other rest of the herd they all heard because they were just resting it was very hot that day like i told you so they all charged in as they charged in this little crop was like do i need to leave her trunk or do i keep on to it but when she saw when the crocodile saw all these huge elephants coming by she thought she might as well let go and she let go and oh kalpana was relieved oh oh ah oh, i'm free at last <coughs> okay so she was still in the water and when she looked down she could actually feel the trunk was quite long it was touching the water she looked down again and you wouldn't believe it her her trunk had grown and it had grown into folds and it had become longer and longer and that's how all the elephants got these long trunks <laughs> so she not only really became the envy of all the elephants around her her the mama elephant and the all the other elephants because they couldn't splash as much as water as she could because now she could take a whole trunk full and she could go swish 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 which she really loved to do and then she had the next song which said we have joy we have fun we have very long trunks now and the longer they are much more water do splash around we have joy we have fun we have very long trunks now and the longer they are much more water do splash around <laughs> Is it the story is uh, the adventures of Bumble. It's a story of Bumble's a bumble bee. Now uh, Bumble uh, lives uh, in a beautiful meadow filled with tulips and roses and daffodils and sunflowers and uh, he stays with his family of over 200 other bees in a beautiful banyan tree. Now Bumble is a busy bee like all other bees. So he, every morning he gets up, he goes around Uh, sucking the nectar of the flowers and bringing pollen so and uh, then he comes back to his hive to make honey and wax so one day he leaves as always for another day of hard work so once he goes he uh, he meets his uh, friend sweetie and uh, she tells him that she has someone she'd like him to meet and uh, bumble is in a hurry but then a beautiful <coughs> butterfly comes out from behind sweetie and introduces herself as jasmine now she is just visiting this we- uh, meadow for the first time so she asks bumble uh, could you please take me around this meadow and show me around now bumble knows he has a lot of work to do but he's really tempted because she's the most beautiful butterfly the most colorful butterfly that he's ever seen so he decides okay chalo let me uh, uh, bunk my uh, let me just for today let me just uh, give up work and just have a good time so he and uh, jasmine spend the entire day uh, going around uh, swooping into one flower to another and uh, drinking all the nectar they can they dance and they 
have a good time, they play fly and chase and all that. So they have a really good time from dawn to dusk. And then finally, uh, sweetie uh, Jasmine has to go home. So she says her byes and she leaves. And then Bumble goes back to his hive and there he meets his um, queen, Sinki, the queen bee. And uh, she's not at all pleased with uh, Bumble playing around when he should actually be working. So he gets really, uh, she gets really, really upset and tells Bumble to buzz off. So Bumble buzzes off and he starts sad. <laughs> And he's had just too much nectar to drink. So while he's going, a tree suddenly comes up from nowhere. And he falls right into a pile of grass. And he falls down unconscious. And he lies there and morning comes. And once morning comes, he gets up and stretches his wings. And take, uh, gets all set to take off to uh, hunt for more nectar. And bam, he hits something. So then he again falls down, then picks himself up, stretches his wings and turns the other way around and goes. And he goes bam. And that's when he uh, sees uh, Mogambo, the <laughs> big <laughs> bear. <laughs> 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 when he meets Mogambo, that's when he realizes that he's actually in a honey jar. <laughs> and he, he's not the uh, least bit pleased and he asks Mogambo to release him. But Mogambo tells him that he, uh, if he wants to be released, he has to first tell him where they have their hive. Because Mogambo is a, has a bit of a inclination towards honey. Mm -hmm. So he really wants uh, some honey and he asks Bumbles to show him the way. But Bumbles, though his queen has chucked him out of the kingdom, uh, is not ready to give away this, uh, where they live. So uh, the Mogambo is extremely angry and he's like, okay, whatever, I'll go looking for her my, for, for the hive myself. So he takes off. And that's when uh, Mogambo's daughter Honey comes out. Comes out. Mm -hmm. Now Honey mm -hmm. is not like her father at all. She's been reading a lot of books on Gandhian ideal, ideals, etc., etc. <laughs> so she's a big fan of the whole love, peace, understanding, and nonviolence. So she tells uh, Bumble, uh, "Let me just release you. I don't want you. Uh, I don't want my father to harm your hive." So she opens the jar, and Bumble, uh, Bumble again uh, stretches his wings and takes off. And he takes off and goes to his uh, Queen Sinki and uh, tells her about the attack. So Queen Sinki is really pleased about uh, Bumbles being uh, so loyal to her even though she had just chucked him out. So she uh, and the rest of the bees uh, form, a, uh, form an army and they go and attack Mogambo. They swarm him, bite him until he starts crying for his mommy. So then Mogambo takes off and then the Queen Bee is so happy and pleased with uh, Bumbles that she asks him to quit working and instead join her secret service. <laughs> so then, uh, and that's how Bumbles became Bumbles born, and that was his proudest moment. He <laughs> <laughs> was a person that uh, whom we all can look up to for his advice, and the name of the story is the advisor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Dingo is here, and uh, they all live in a farm near the farm uh, house. I mean, under the trees, and uh, uh, Dingo is really a here and all the other animals. The other animals, the characters are the mouse, the mother mouse, the baby mouse, who's called Minty. <laughs> and uh, then this we have Patty, the turkey. <laughs> we have the cock, the rooster. Is, is that related to her destiny? <laughs> and uh, we have Kitty, the cat. We have Kitty, the cat. Now there is a song. Uh, now there is a song to this also. I will definitely share it with you. And if you'd like to learn it from me, that's fine. Um, so Dingo is uh, here and uh, they all live as a happy, uh, like almost a family. And uh, sharing each other's problems and they all want to, uh, you know, uh, whenever anything good happens, each one is there and anything bad happens, they share each one's uh, grief and uh, the happiness. And then, but this, uh, the mother mouse was very uh, sad, you know, like, you know, she's all the time uh, worried why uh, her little, uh, her little baby mouse, that is Minty, is not found friends. She's all the time living in this hole and she's wanting her, the Minty, to get out of the house and look out for friends. And even as uh, they go and approach Dingo for the advice, so Dingo says, come, let's have a party. And uh, we have a party this weekend and all of us will meet. 
and uh, as we uh, uh, see, look at each one of us, each each other, then Mithi will choose her friend. Then um, in the party, you know, the the clouds it started looking grey, and uh, I mean it's almost going to rain, but then uh, it didn't happen, and that's when they sang the song. Oh, it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. It rained last week and the week before. It ain't gonna rain no more. Oh, it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. How in the heck can I wash my neck if it ain't gonna rain no more? Oh, it ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna rain no more. It ain't gonna snow. It ain't gonna fall. It ain't gonna rain no more. Mary had a little lamb, so goes the tale of your. She loved that little lamb so much she passed the plate for more. A wolf from sad on a lily pad looking at the sky. He fell right off that lily pad and got water in his eye. A peanut sat on a railroad track, its hat was all a flutter. Along came the five oh five. Oops! Peanut butter. <laughs> so after they sang this song, they all said, um, fine, you choose the friend you like. And all that uh, Minty chose was, uh, uh, it looked up to the to Patty and said, mine, this is not my friend because after the rain, I mean, uh, its claws are bad, it looks so dirty, I'm not going to be its friend. And uh, then it says, it looked up to the rooster and uh, it says, no, no, this is not my friend because the rooster looks uh, has bloody flesh on its head and down below its neck. I don't want to be its friend. And finally, it looks at this elegant looking cat. And it says, wow, this is going to be my friend. But then um, Dingo says, but you know what is it? All that you know is this is what it is waiting for. It wants you. So looks can be deceiving. So uh, don't uh, judge a book by its cover. You know? <laughs> Chingari. Yes. And this is Kahani of Chingari now. <laughs> so, Chingari is a very naughty cat. See, mud all around her, jumping around.